Yo, yo, yo. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Gio, man. Back with another one, man. Uh, this LeBron and Bronny James, man. This stuff been going crazy. I just want y'all to pin, man, and let me know what y'all think. I'm keeping this one short and simple, man. I'm um, not going to really get in depth and detail and whatnot. I just want to give y'all the information and let me know what y'all think as far as his stats and him progressing, moving forward. Is he following under his dad? Like, is, is he bringing that legacy with him? You know, just, you know. There's a lot of people that's chiming in and they got a lot to say, and I want y'all to see that. Y'all got to let me know what y'all think, man. Y'all got to hit them comments, man. Run them likes up, man. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all already know I appreciate all the love and support, man. As always, man. Y'all already know I appreciate the love, man. I'm about to holler at y'all on the next one, man. To the next one. I'm out. We're going to get started with the NBA. Specifically, preseason basketball that tipped off this weekend. Several teams were in action, including LeBron James and the Los Angeles Lakers, who took on the Phoenix Suns. But yesterday was particularly special because we were all witnesses to history. It happened at the start of the second quarter when Bronny, LeBron's son, checked into the game and joined his father on the basketball court. This marked the first time in history that a father and son played together in an NBA game. Here's what LeBron had to say after the game. The moment Bronny's on the court with you, how did it feel as a father and, and as a player? Uh, not real. Um, still kind of get a little bit used to it, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool um, for the both of us and especially for our family. For a father, I mean, it means everything. I mean, I mean for you know, someone who didn't have that, you know, growing up, uh, to be able to be able to have that influence on your kids and have the influence on your son, to be able to have moments with your son. Um, and then ultimately, you know, to be able to work with your son, I think that's one of the greatest things that a father could ever hope for or wish for. So it's pretty cool. We kind of stood next to each other. I kind of looked at him and it was just like, like the Matrix or something. It just, did, it just didn't feel real. So, um, but it was great to have those moments out there with him. Now, here's the deal. I've noticed, I'm sure y'all have noticed that many people have been critical of the fact that Bronny is on the team to begin with. But guess what? I'm not one of them. I want to say this because it's important to point this out, okay? I will be critical of LeBron James when it's called upon. He is not the GOAT in my estimation. It will always be Michael Jordan when compared to him. I have LeBron at number two. That's number one. The other part about all of this is that, you know what? You want to shoot jump shots instead of going to the hole. You're, you're reticent or hesitant to get to the free throw line in critical moments. I'm going to get on him about that, too, which I have in the past. No need to do that now because he ain't scared to do that anymore the way he was earlier in his career. But it doesn't negate the fact that this is one of the greatest players to have ever played the game of basketball. He is on the Mount Rushmore of basketball. And on top of it all, what he has done for the game is immeasurable. And my appreciation for LeBron James and our appreciation collectively as basketball fans should always be, as he would state, surreal, to say the least. It is a damn travesty that you got people running their damn mouths, acting like it's a problem that he got his son on the team. We're now learning, based off of numerous reports that have come out the last few days, that the Golden State Warriors were contemplating grabbing Ronnie James at the 52nd overall pick but passed on doing so in order to respect the wishes of LeBron James because they knew that the Lakers had the 55th pick and that Bron LeBron James was going to make sure that the Lakers grabbed him. Ladies and gentlemen. We just figured out how much Bronny James will average his rookie season with the Lakers. In his first taste of NBA competition, Bronny averaged just a hair under 9 points, 34% from the field, 15% from 3, 2.2 turnovers, and 3.5 and rebounds while playing 25 minutes a game across 4 summer league games. Compare that with his stats at USC, Bronny averaged 19 minutes scoring 4.8 points, 2.8 rebounds, and 2 assists in 25 games. While his summer league stats are still a very small sample size, Bronny showed that he can do more if he's given more minutes. For the biggest question, how much will he average his rookie season? Given how deep the Lakers already are in the backcourt, Bronny probably won't see the court as much compared to his time at USC and the Summer League, which is why you can expect him to average half his college numbers for his rookie season. But if he spends most of his time in the G League, that'll be a completely different story. One thing is for sure though, you'll never see another 55th overall pick face as much pressure and scrutiny as Bronny will for the rest of his career.
in the desert, and here we go. We've been waiting for it. It is the preseason, but LeBron James and LeBron James Jr. are on the floor at the same time. <laughs> that is nice. That's really nice. As they're right next to each other. Of course, they've been playing against each other and with each other. There's been a ton of hate regarding my son. And frankly, I'm starting to agree with y'all. He sucks. Well, he's still young. There's still hope that he'll improve, isn't there? No. We're in the process of trading him for Thanasis. I'm going to draft Bryce, though, so stay tuned. He's here in the last minute and a half. Roddy's going to get it right here. Trout wants him to shoot. He's going to apply. Got it! Oh, there's a whistle. No uh, offensive basket. Offensive screen. No basket. Yeah, he's not very good right now. He needs a lot of reps. It's probably going to be pretty bad for a few years. But we all knew that was going to be the case. Bronny was a guy that coming out of high school was viewed as a legitimate NBA prospect. And he lost an entire year, basically, of real repetition and rhythm at USC because of his health condition. There's going to be some people out there that are going to capitalize on every ugly low light of uh, Bronny's early career here. And like, you're going to do yourself a favor by just acknowledging that's what it is. Bronny's going to struggle because he's not ready yet. He's going from playing at the high school level to barely playing at USC to now he's being thrown in against the best players in the world. As far as the Lakers go, I don't think Bronny has any chance of cracking the actual rotation when they get into regular season games. They might, as a novelty, throw him in in a, in a situation when the game's out of reach to get a moment with LeBron, but like he's not going to be playing for a little while. How flawed he is at this point just doesn't matter. James off to a nice one for 11 in his career. Let's see that midi. Oh, yeah. Look at that separation. Burn. Napo, baby, from the top. Let's see a drop. Three ball. Butter pecan. Burn. We got this bag work presented by Clutch Sports. Let's see it go. Midi, fall away. Killian A's. Burn. You know, it's a bad day at the office when you can't score on Luca Garza at the rim. Bang. Knocked out to LeBron James. Junior, pump fake, drives with the left. Bang! Father like son, James to James. Three ball, bang! Oh, James up and under, bang! Bad shooters love to take bad shots. Angel Reese, long two, let's see it go through, bang! Conversation going on in Lakerland. Is this Bronny's team now? Bang! Nah, that's not Bronny, James. That's goat sperm. We had a lot of refs in the old days that went right to three. <laughs> Ford from 18, yes, sir. Arms. Step back, long two. He's in his bag to start. Wow. A little confidence there? <laughs> yeah. Step back. Well, this is a confident kid. Up to the Jazz. Bronny dropped. Summer League. You know, guys can be a little jacked up, excited to play, and so you want them to stick to their strengths and not try to... We take a look at Bronny James, who missed his only shot attempt, taking 55th overall, signing a four-year deal to start off his NBA career with his pops and the LA Lakers. Is Bronny James ready for the NBA? Bronny James just had his preseason debut with the Lakers and fans are already sounding off. Some people are saying Bronny isn't ready for the NBA pace, criticizing his performance in the Lakers Bucks game. But let's not forget, this is just the beginning. Plus, remember the pressure he's under. LeBron's shadow isn't easy to step out of. He's got time to prove himself. He's coming off a big year and still developing. You can't judge his whole career off one one preseason game. What do you think? Is Bronny under too much pressure? Drop your thoughts in the comments and hit that follow for more NBA updates. How do you feel mentally and physically as you transition from playing from college and then now in the big league? In college, I only put up four fucking points a game on under 40% shooting, and I couldn't really get much playing time on a shitty USC basketball team. You know, this guy, um, Dalton, sitting next to me, was one of the best players in the NCAA. And unlike me, Dalton earned the right to be here. I don't even deserve to um, sit at this table next to him, and I'm only on the Lakers because of my dad. How about that of Bronny James, his NBA debut, California Classic out in San Francisco, almost 21 years to the day. That's awesome. That LeBron Sr. made his summer league debut. Hey, if you want to make this highlight, you better score on Bronny. 
That's what Adonis Arms did. Great name, great game. Good to see a dude with the best name and great biceps back in the highlight. Solid. Does not miss Arms Day. Mid-second quarter, I know you're wondering, hey, can we see Bronny's first hockey assist of his NBA career? There it is after the steal. Good sequence for Bronny as Kyle Mangus finishes. Next Lakers possession, there's his first bucket. Bronny gets the handoff, a DHO. I learned that term on a Mind the Game podcast. You couldn't do this when his dad debuted. Watch it on your phone. Check this out. Come on, man. That's tough. That's tough. Get loose. LeBron getting ready for Team USA in Vegas, cheering on his son. Here's Dalton Connect, their first round pick, getting it to their second round pick. And that's kind of nasty from Bronny. He had four points, just two of nine shooting. Some eyebrow raising comments post game. The atmosphere, it was, you know, more than I expected. I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a big game for me. Every first game that I, you know, step on the, the next level, it's, it's always some butterflies in my stomach. But as soon as the, the ball tips and we go a couple down, a couple times down, then it all goes away. And I, you know, just playing basketball. To be honest, the college game is much faster. I feel like I'm really slowed down, especially you know on the offensive end. And I was, you know, trying to get downhill as much as I could, you know, to open up the the, the two ball and, and the mid range and the three ball. Couldn't get the three ball to fall, but you know, it's all with reps. It's gonna. It's going to come more smooth. You can't take anything from, like, as far as stat-wise, from California Classic and Summer League and bring it to once the season starts. So, you know, the only thing that matters is him getting better in stacking days. He missed a, a big part of the season last year because of the incident less than a year ago. He's behind as far as where he would have been if he would have played a full season, obviously. But every day, every practice, every film session, he feels like he's getting better and better. Um, and that's the only, that's the only thing. Um, that Bronny James looks like a horrible basketball player, even in the summer league. Bronny James was taken in the second round of the 2024 NBA draft, and what a lot of people are calling one of the worst picks of all time. Personally, I didn't really care so much because this is the 55th overall pick in the NBA draft, and usually those picks don't turn out to be so good. But his performances during the summer league aren't helping his case at all. In a game against the Miami Heat, James can be seen airballing a 15-foot mid-range shot, during the dead period, which isn't that big of a deal. In his next game versus the Houston Rockets, Bronny shot 3 of 14 from the field and an astounding 0 for 8 from 3. This means Bronny is yet to hit a single 3 so far in the summer league, and it's not like they're taking contested shots either, as he has had multiple open looks against the Rockets. Now, the common argument is that Bronny is more of a defensive player, but the starting guard for the Rockets, Nate Williams, who is just a 25-year-old undrafted rookie was the Rockets' second leading scorer with 17 points off of 57% shooting from the field. Look, Bronny still has a lot of time to get better, but as of right now, it looks like Bronny James is a terrible basketball player. And I hate to say this, but...